some fog in various areas, several areas, as I was coming into work this morning. Yeah, you got to be careful out there because mm -hmm. some spots it's pretty dense, and that's all due to a, just a little bit of moisture in the air, but temperatures are cooling down. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of cool and foggy start to the uh, to the morning. Kind of a spooky look for the uh, the week of Halloween, and unfortunately, right now. The forecast for Thursday looks a little scary. These puns are going to be coming all week, folks. Don't worry. Just settle in. Right now in Summerton, 52 degrees. It is cooler in our eastern zones than it is in the west. We do have some fog around. We also have a little bit of low cloudiness, too. But a dense fog advisory goes until 8 o'clock this morning for all the counties that you see shaded in gray. And this is most of our counties, east, all of our counties east of I-65, and a few that are west of I-65, including Walker, Marion, and Winston County. Uh, there will be a little bit of clearing by, say, 8 to 9 o'clock, and I think by the afternoon hours, we see a decent amount of sunshine. But until then, there will be some spots with some visibility down below a mile. Right now, most of that is in our northeastern and eastern counties, which includes Etowah County along I-59 and I-20. Temperatures in the 40s for most of us, but right now, 50s off in our west. 55 in Fayette and Hamilton, 52 Jasper and Tuscaloosa. This is all due to some very low-level stratus clouds that are keeping things just a little bit milder, and we don't have those clouds over in East Alabama. But everyone, it looks like we'll see at least a little bit of fog early this morning and some low cloudiness, but that will all evaporate by, say, 1 to 2 o'clock, and we'll say mostly sunny by 3 o'clock for everyone in Central Alabama. And nice and warm too. Temperature is close to the low 70s. A really nice afternoon, all things considered. Very comfortable too. Low humidity. After that, we'll see a, a few milder uh, spots with temperatures in the 50s overnight. Some clouds around too. Winds will be calm. And then things really start to change. Moisture from the Gulf of Mexico moves in. That warm front that we had, or that cold front that we had, moved south of us this weekend will lift as a warm front and kind of scour out. But still, the showers hang out near the I 85 and I 65 corridor and kind of stay south of our area. But a few showers can't be ruled out. Then on Wednesday, we have another setup like we had on Friday where we have a frontal system move in, a lot of moisture streams in, and we have good rain chances. On Wednesday, then the front itself actually moves in on Thursday, and this could cause another round of rain. And hopefully, this front moves out Thursday night, and we can have a dry Halloween for the trick or treaters that want to go outside. But right now, it's still a little bit up in the air as far as the timing goes. What we do know is after that front moves out, cold air rushes in for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The forecast for the weekend. Could be the coldest temperatures we've seen so far this fall. Scattered showers turn into numerous showers by Wednesday. We'll see a chance of rain once again, a good chance on Thursday with cooler, drier air settling in after that for Friday and 